Allison. Miss Allison. Congratulations once again on your promotion. Thanks. I am really excited to be working with you in the same team. Well, we'll see how that goes, I guess. Uh, yes. Um, sorry, do you have a minute? I want to make an observation I just found out. From the brief? Yes, from the brief. Um, no, not right now. I need to go home to spend time with family. Oh, of course. I mean, celebration, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cool. Okay. Yeah, cheers. when I saw your message. I know. I was so I excited. Was, I know. See, I was in shock as well. I never saw it coming. <laughs> it shocked you. It shocked me. <laughs> Die. Oh, congratulations <laughs> again. Thank you. But I told you, I knew sooner or later that we were going to promote you. You put in so much work. Oh. Well, I guess when you were saying about that, you know, I just didn't see the soon coming today. Mm. Okay. Trust me. Oh, congratulations once again. Ah, let me carry you back. It's Head okay. What is it? You're too dramatic. <laughs> Anyways, um, is my baby around? Yes, he's waiting inside for you. Fantastic. Hmm. I beg, be coming down soon of us too. Oh, uh -uh. Sorry, yo. <laughs> I'm not the one that do you. Be going. Let me call a better hug. <laughs> hey, don't be fun, man. My girlfriend goes to work a non-executive staff member and returns a head of department. That's right. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, mm. baby. <laughs> All right, let's make a toast. Okay. And okay. Yeah, this is for you. Yeah. So, a toast to more promotions in quick succession. Amen. Pack up. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Ah, uh, you are my incredible. Oh, we are still going to celebrate the big time. Continue, you know. Right? I know, definitely. <laughs> All right, quickly change up, okay? Yes, I'll do just that. All right. Oh. <laughs> And every time that I see your That's face, your I can baby. control it. Baby, it feels like magic. Oh, yeah. Magic. Let me just check if it's on my system. But I guess yeah, just a minute. Yes. Wait, what time is it again? It's uh, almost 8 a.m. Oh my god. We woke up late for real. Yes. And of it's course. your fault. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're celebrating, you know. I know. So that's how you made us drink a whole bottle, bottle of, wine. of wine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. It's okay. I don't have to go now. I don't want to be late for my meeting. And I need to see that this new investor come on board. Um, babe. Can I talk to you about something? I know we always disagree on this topic, but... Oh, come on. Babe, not just, now. Just hear me out. No, please. Just hear me out, okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't start your own company. This is more like what you've been indirectly saying all this while. No, that's not true. Okay, all I'm saying is, instead of struggling with little or no money, you know, while trying to grow this company, 
You can get a job so that you can earn while you, you know, build your own company. And then when the big box start rolling in for your company, then you can resign the job. Listen, the everyone around me is doing their thing, all right? None of my guys is working for anyone. Babe, your story and your journey, your timelines are different. They don't have to be the same. <sighs> Listen, just, just drop this, okay? <sighs> But you know I'd always support you, right? I have companies that I can connect you to. Your CV is so damn impressive. Okay, you have you have a very amazing CV. Okay. I have to go now, okay? I have to go. Um, how are oh. you going? Um I just already booked a cab. You know my car is at the mechanic, so I'll just don't worry. I'll see you when I come back, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll find out. What's going on? Um, yeah, see, um, I think I, I'm ready to do that stuff now. Yes, bro, man, I'm tired. Okay, okay, I'm ready to do that stuff now. Yes, bro, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. I mean, everyone around me is just making it big time, and I'm going backwards. Okay, you know what? I I'm heading for a meeting right now, so when I'm done, I'll just call you, so we'll link up and we'll know what next to do. Yeah, so I can start up everything. All right, all right. Okay, thank you. Alison is now the head of department. Yes. Oh my goodness. The way she's climbing this corporate ladder is like magic. I know, right? Ah, she works hard for it. Oh, that's a fact. She does. <laughs> I give it to her. I'm so happy for her. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Ah, ah. Talk about the devil. Hmm. <laughs> May the head of department live long. <laughs> CJ. Oh. I'm so happy for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We're just talking about you now. Mm, are you serious? Mm -hmm. So tell me, what kind of gossip was this? The good one. <laughs> Anyways, um, babes, what's up? You didn't, you didn't call me again. Oh, so you tell me not to come that you're busy, Abby? What? Have I ever told you that I was too busy for you? Alison, don't even get me started. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Anyway, you're here now, so we can talk. But yes. before that, let me just go. Okay, go freshen yeah. up. I'm yes. here. I'm waiting for I'll you. I'll be back. Come on, join the gym. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy for her. Why so is you? Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, my love. Good morning. Oh, yeah. How are you? Well, I'm all right. What's up? You didn't later show up yesterday as well. Oh, yes. I didn't finish on time yesterday and I got stuck in traffic for hours. Mm -hmm. But I sent you text messages, yeah? Did you see? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I even tried to call you. Your phone was switched off. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was really crazy, I must say. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just had to come here and see you before you go to work. Thank you. All right, so when are you done today? Um, I just have a quick meeting outside the office. So we'll say by six-ish, I should be done. Six? Mm -hmm. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want us to have a very nice dinner today. Okay, mm -hmm. where? Mm -hmm. Um, Here, of course. Mm -hmm. Linda and I already made plans. Did you guys? Yes, of course, first us now. <laughs> Nice. Um, so what time is dinner then? Uh let's see, six thirty tops. No African time. Great, I will be here. And I will be waiting <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, baby, come here. I need to go. Okay. Oh, uh, are you leaving already? Oh yes, I need to quickly go and take care of something, okay? Don't worry. I'll see you. Mm. Mm. 
Sure. I'll see you later, okay? 6.30. 6.30 is the day. All right, love. thinking what I'm thinking um I'm not thinking anything I don't want to be disappointed what are you thinking okay um I feel like the bling is going to come tonight really <laughs> yes <laughs> what did he say to you uh, I don't know he 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 was like I should make something that you've not had in a while and he actually gave me money to make it for this evening <gasps> are you serious <laughs> yes Oh my God. <laughs> yes, and I'll get the table ready by, let's say, um, 6.20 and leave by that time too. Live? Yes. Where are you living to and why? It sounded like you wanted to spend some quality time with you. So I'm going to stay with Chichi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at you. Blushing onion, purple, and vegetable <laughs> Well, what can I do? Um, anyways, I better head to work. Okay. HOD or not, before they fire my ass. All right, bye. Be good, all right? Okay. I hope I can do this. So, I did bring this up during the meeting, but you didn't address it. So I'm wondering how we're going to address and um, approach it. Approach what? Well, the fact that our client has a product, the noodles, that is the most hated in all the markets. And it worries me that it's in all our marketing materials. I mean, when we start our online campaign, people will come for us, that's for sure. I mean, they hate that noodles. Well, we focus on brand marketing and as such we do not bother with driving single or family products you know that i know but we've had experiences where um, clients finger out a particular product or two despite the brand marketing yeah we put our best foot forward you do know that this client has some of the best products on the market right yes he does simple those would be the superstars that we showcase when the time is right Oh, wait, that was what you did with the Silver Island Manufacturing Company. Bingo. You put their best products forward and the rest just aligned. Bingo, that's exactly how you do it. Ah, okay. <laughs> now I'm learning from you. <laughs> yeah, as always. Almost 6 30 pm. You should hurry. I picked the dress for you. It's on the bed. Oh, thank you for everything. And this looks really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. And congratulations. <laughs> Look, don't get me too excited, okay? Let's just see how all of this goes. Okay, no problem. Bye. Bye. See you. Mm, so, when are you coming back, though? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'll give you all the gist. I'm the lover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You and I were meant to be together. Oh, my baby. <laughs> And every time that I see your face, I can't control it. <laughs> Baby, it feels like magic. Oh God. Magic. <laughs> yes. It's about to be a good
And every time that I see your face, I can't control it. Baby, it feels like magic. Magic. I'm coming. <sighs> hey, Allison. What are you doing here? Um, this was among the documents you gave me to file in today. I, it's a personal document. Oh. oh my God, how did I miss this? Um, it's a receipt for one of the lands I just recently bought. Yes, I noticed. That's why I decided to bring it before Monday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alison, you look good. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. see your face, I can't control it, baby, it feels like magic. magic. Alison. 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 What happened? Wait. Is it daybreak already? Yes, it is. What happened? I don't know. Kenneth didn't show up. What? Yeah. He didn't show up and his phone has been switched off. I, I don't know. Oh. My head hurts. I don't understand. You mean you haven't spoken to him since last night? I, I haven't. 
the oven, so. Where's my phone? Did you, did you see my phone? It's fine. Still switched off. What must have happened? I don't know. his house. Okay, can I come with you? Sure. Okay. Are you saying you've not spoken to him in over a week? Yeah, he was supposed to be at my place, but he never showed up. But is there another way to reach him? I mean, yeah, he was supposed to be here last night, but he didn't show up. His phone has been switched off. He's not at his place. I... Fine. Please call me when you have anything, okay? Who did you call? Kenneth's sister. Okay, which one? Promise. Well, what did she say? She said to stop panicking. That he'll call me. And that maybe his phone battery is probably switched off, drained or something. But what if that's not the case? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, why is she sounding so casual? I don't think they're close. Well, they pretty much do things differently. Well, Kalista seems to be the closest to Kenneth. I don't, I don't think I have. I don't have a number anymore. I, I don't. No, it's fine. Oh God, God, please, please, please keep him safe. I don't know, it's true. I it used to be fine. We should just start thinking negative right now. Think How right now. else am I supposed to think? He has never disappeared like this before. And it's been what? Less than a day. Even for less than a day. <sighs> no, um, what a big thing. I'll start making breakfast. Breakfast. Yes. I'll pass. I'll pass it. Please, 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 please. Oh, Why are you doing this to yourself? Hey. Hey. Oh. What happened? It's I couldn't understand your text. UJ, I can't find Kenneth. How? Linda, what's up? I'm fine, welcome. Thank you. Wait, I don't understand. What do you mean by you can't find him? He was supposed to be here last night. We were meant to have a special dinner. Your promotion dinner? Yes. We even thought he might propose. He even gave me money to prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. And he didn't show up? Yes. And his number is not going through. Switched off. Hmm. We even went to his house. And he wasn't there. My goodness. What could have happened? Um, CJ, how did you go about informing the police when your brother was missing? I went immediately. We realized he didn't return and his phone number was switched off. Okay. They asked me to wait for 24 hours. Why wait? I think I have to go there now. I think we should wait some more. What if he's in some sort of danger and waiting 24 hours will put him in even more danger? Well, they'll do whatever they want to do 24 hours later. I'm sure I can persuade them. I have to go now. But I guess I was so stupid Left without a notice Now my heart is bleeding 
no one here to save you. You guys, I can't just wait, okay? I'll be back soon. I need okay. you no more than ever. Baby, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging. Baby, please come back home. Is it just me or something is burning? Jesus Christ, my breakfast. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. God, I should wait another few hours. It has to be 24 hours. Hey, calm down. You might be jumping into conclusion too fast. How? He's never done this before. I understand. Right. No, you don't. Like, if he's not going to show up for any reason, he sends me a text. And I do the same. That's how we've always been with each other. What if he couldn't send a message this time? What could have stopped him? And even if his battery is dead, where is he that he's not trying to charge his phone or call me or reach out or something? Alison, I totally understand you. Trust me. But we need to at least hold on for a while. You know my brother's story. Your brother's story is different. And his case is understandable. How? I mean, he was in a bus and then to avoid traffic, the driver took a different route to a village. The car went bad. You know, they all didn't know where they were, so they slept in the bus. And his battery was drained. Is that not the story? Yes, it is. And by daybreak, those that had batteries on their phone, they didn't have network and they had to trek for hours to get to their destination. But look, Alison, why is so sure that it's not the same thing that happened to Kenneth? CJ, he drives. Okay, he drives. He doesn't take buses. Something is definitely off. Something is not right. I'm going back to the police in a few hours. She won't listen to anything. She won't listen to anybody. And there's nothing we can do about it. I understand how she feels. I've been there before. <sighs> but I guess I was so stupid. Left without a notice. Now my heart is bleeding. No one here to save me. I need you no more than ever. Baby, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. I'm begging now for all the times I ever felt that I could leave without you, baby. I'm sorry, forgive me, baby. I'm sorry, forgive me, baby. I'm sorry, forgive me, baby. I'm, sorry, me, baby. I'm on my knees, I'm begging. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please 
please come back home. Good morning. Good morning. You didn't sleep? I couldn't. You've done all that you need to do. You've called the family. You've gone to the police twice yesterday. I think right now, you should just leave everything in the hands of the police to do their job. And if they don't? And if they don't, what else can you do? I can... What is it? What? Kenneth just broke up with me. What? Which Kenneth? He sent a message with the same number that has been switched off. This message is detailed. And all of the things he wrote there are things that only the both of us know about. So I'm sure that he wrote it. I don't know what to say right now. I'm shocked, like I'm confused. Listen, even though that message is him clearly breaking up with you, let's... Why? Why? We had no issues. I know, but we're not sure if you would have sent him. Well, he wrote things that I did for him and never told anyone. That means he sent it himself. You know, but why, why would he break up with me after asking Linda to make dinner? and making me rush home to spend time with him. I don't know. <laughs> but you need to stop crying. At least let's all think about this objectively. I can't think. Now my heart is bleeding. No one here to save me. I need you no more than ever. Baby, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging Baby, please come back home Come back home Baby, please come back home Come back home Baby, please come back home Hungry. Please. I don't feel like he's saying anything. Maybe you should be. I'm sure it's from work and I'm not taking that. Yeah, but you can just speak and tell them you're not feeling too well. I'm not in the mood to speak to anyone. This is Hallison's cousin. I'm sorry, but she will not be able to make it to... Oh, hi, Jimmy. Yeah, she won't be able to make it to work. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Bye. It is Jimmy from your office. I was asking if you'll be able to make it to work tomorrow. No. Are you sure, Alison? I mean, are you not the one handling the Linda, project? Linda, please. Just 
just leave me alone. Baby, please Go. come no. back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. Hi, good morning. I'm Jimmy. Hi, morning. Linda, um, we spoke yesterday, yeah? Oh, yes, 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 we did. Uh, please come in. Okay, thank you. So, um, how is she? She's getting better. Okay, good. Um, can I speak with her? Um, okay, um, hold on, Bob. Please do have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> so sorry, she's she's sleeping. Oh, it's fine. She needs it. Um, please let her know I I came by. I needed to get some directives from her, but uh, it's okay. She needs to get herself and recover fully before thinking anything work. <laughs> You're right. And uh, yeah, also help me. Tell her that I need um, her medical report because our boss is quite tough with missing work, especially without a cogent reason. Mm -hmm. And um, proof to it also. Yes. Don't worry, I will remind her. Thank you. Also, um, can I get your number so that I can call you to check on her instead of disturbing her with oh. calls? That's okay, sure. Um, do you want, or oh, I should? I just okay. type it in. Fine. Save all you should. I'll save it. Myself. Thank you. Here you go. I'll call you then. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. And thank you for coming too. Thank you. Bye. 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 Listen, you should have spoken with him. You're not interested. But I already gave him the impression that you're not feeling too well. And he asked that I should tell you to send a doctor's report. Alison. And where are you going to?
But I guess I was so stupid You left without a notice Now my heart is bleeding No one here to save me I need you no more than ever Baby, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging Baby, please come back home Come back home Baby, please come back home Come back home Baby, please come back home Hello? Promise. No, I'm not okay. Did you get my messages? So, has he called any of you yet? Oh, how about your mom? Okay, please, can you tell me how to reach your mom? Yes, I... Please, tell me how I can reach her. I need to see her. Okay, please send the address ASAP. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh got it. And where are you going to? To see Kenneth's mom. What? I need to speak to a family member. Something doesn't feel right. What do you mean by you need to speak to a family member? How can you just end what we had? I need to speak to someone. Wait, you've been talking to Promise. And she's not telling me anything. <laughs> yes, that's because she doesn't know anything. Or she doesn't want to tell you anything. Then I would speak to the mom. Because you think he's going to tell his mom what he didn't tell you or his sisters. Quite close, okay? Alison, he broke up with you. For no reason. Yes, that's the main reason you should be reaching out to him and not any member of his family. So you think that if I knew how to reach out to him, I would even be thinking of reaching out to his family? It seems to me that he doesn't want to be reached. Exactly why I should talk to the mom. Alison, you can't just pack up to a different state to talk to the mother of the man that broke up with you. There's a reason. Okay, and I need to know. I need to find out what that reason is. How can we be over? Life with Kenneth is all I wanted. And I thought I had it. Alison, I know. I know how painful it can be. No, you do not. Oh, yes, I do. You know how much you want to be with him. And I was really hoping he... It gives you a ring because I know how much that could have meant to you. What could have happened? What did I do? What if it's not something that you did? Then how could he just turn his back on us? We had a perfect relationship. Um, I think that CJ is here. I, I'll go check the door. She's not, she's not good. Your message said someone from the office came. Yes. What did he say? Me. He was saying something about that he wanted some directives from her, but then she should send in the doctor's report. Who told him she's not feeling well? I did when he called. That's because Alison couldn't pick. And that was the only thing that came to my mind because he was, he kept asking why she has not been showing up to work. 
Same reason I called you to come and talk to her. She needs to give her to work. I knew this was going to get to her this much. Kenneth was everything to her. Trust me, I can't believe he didn't feel the same way. I would have sworn that he did. Well, this whole thing is shocking. Mm. However, we need to make sure she doesn't lose her job. Exactly. She has worked so hard to get to where she is right now. If they sack her because she has not been showing to work, huh? it would be very bad. I know. Let me see her. Please talk to her. Babe. My heart is hurting. I know. I can't believe what's happening to me right now. We are all in shock. But how am I supposed to think of the possibility of living without him? Alison. How am I supposed to? I know how much he means to you. How am I supposed to think of the possibility of being with someone else? You don't need to bother with that yet. You need to get back to work. I can't even function. I know how hard this is. But you can't lose your job now. I think I need to speak to his mother. Alison. I need to speak to a family member. Okay, someone who knows something. Someone other than promise. Look, I know you don't want to talk about work now. But I don't know how long your office can take your silence. Linda and I are worried. Can I be left alone? Come on, babe. Please. Fine. CJ, what are we going to do now? We need to keep talking to her. She has built everything on that relationship. You know, I can't believe he broke up with her like this. Wait, how is it that there's even a breakup at all? Hmm. See, I was the one who made their meal that day. And I was so certain that upon my return, she will be engaged. Hmm. You know his sisters, right? Mm, yes, promise. We talk from time to time, but she's not that close to Kenneth. Why? What of the other one? I think there are two of them. Yes, there are two. Kalista. She's closer to Kenneth. Then she should know what's going on. Yeah, she should. She should. We need to find her. And do what with her. <laughs> know exactly what is going on. <laughs> CJ, he broke up with her. Why? That's it. Why? And that's what's hurting Alison more. Not knowing why. I don't know how to find her because I don't have Kalista's number anymore. You can collect it from Promise. If she doesn't want to talk to Alison, she can talk to us. You think he must have told her anything? It's possible, if they're close. Look, the important thing is finding where he is. <laughs> mm. Can I be sincere with you? Sure. I don't think Kenneth is in the country. Uh, why would you say that? I don't know, but he's, I don't think he's still here. He's no longer in that house. You think he moved out? Yes, and outside the country. I don't think Kenneth is still in the country. Like, I feel so certain. I've been trying to keep my anger in check. But if that's the case, God will punish him severely. Hmm. I mean, it's as if God is not really punishing that fool already. I mean, for the fact that he left her like this. Ah. Can you imagine? For well, Linda, we have to look for a way to get Alison back to work. 
You have the contact of that colleague that came here the other time. Yes. You need to speak to him. At least to get information on how to save a job. <laughs> because the Alice you and I know will not be thinking about the office now and in the nearest future. Hmm. Hmm. This whole thing is just so devastating. <sighs> Have you checked the rice? Linda? Yeah. Sorry. How can I help you? I'm um, so sorry. Um, I want to see Kenneth. Who is Kenneth? I don't know anybody. I just moved in here two weeks ago. You don't know Kenneth? I don't know anybody called Kenneth. And you live here? Yes. My agent got me this apartment. Oh. You said you just moved in two weeks ago? Yes. I hope there's no problem. No. Are you okay? I don't know Kenneth. I don't know you. I'm sorry. Oh. Are you okay? Th thank you. There's no problem. Okay. Take care of yourself. Baby, <laughs> hey, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back Is there nothing else you can do for her? Okay, it's fine. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Was that Jimmy? Yes. What did you say? He said he can't cover up for her anymore. You know, we told him the truth about everything that happened. And he called his friend and got a doctor's report sent to the office, but still, the MD is still threatening to hire someone else to replace Hallison. It's been weeks now. He also said that some staff saw Hallison and it has changed the impression of her needing weeks to recover. Oh my goodness. It must have been while going to Kenneth's place. And I told her to stop going there. Did it sound like she's going to finally lose her job? Yes. He said it's because she's so good, you know, with the staff in the office. That's why they're still hoping she somehow still shows up. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Alison is, she's, she's being distant with me and she's getting quiet on me every day. Somehow, I feel like I can't just connect with her anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, Jimmy. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Hi. You didn't even call that you were coming. Yes. 
Um, it was an impromptu decision. Is she in? Yes, for you know that she's still not ready to talk about work. Okay, now then tell her the MD sends me here. Your MD? Yes. Okay, what did he say? I'll tell her myself. Okay, um, let me try to talk to her. Okay. I'll be back. You just have a seat. All right. Um, she said you can tell me whatever it is. Is that so? Yes. Oh. Well, in that case, I need you to go back there and tell her that I'm going to sit on this couch till tomorrow mm -hmm. if she doesn't come out. Jimmy. Yes. Because I don't know what this is. I've been trying to call her for weeks and she has not returned any of my calls. The project we were working on together before all this started got withdrawn from us. The office has sent her a couple of mails and she has not even replied to any one of it. So yes, I am staying here till she comes out. Hi, Alison. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. What do you want? Have you been okay? What do you want, Jimmy? You've been sacked. The office had sent a, a soft copy to me by email. The MD was going to send this hard copy to you via dispatch, but I insisted that it's best if you get it directly from one of us. Thanks for bringing it. What in God's name is wrong with you, Alison? Excuse you? Why are you acting so selfish and insensitive? What exactly are you talking about? Do you, do you think you're the only one who has lost something she cared about? Huh? Look, I lost my parents at the age of three. I was going to marry someone who I thought I was in love with, that was pregnant for another man while we were dating. And she was going to carry on with the plans for the marriage without even letting me know. Jimmy, why are you telling me your life story? Because you need to know you're not the only one that's hurting in this life. Okay? Look, I'm not trying to tell you how to deal with your heart and your pain. But for how long do you plan to relieve what happened to you and how sad your life is? Yes, he left you without the care in the world. Yes, I get it. He walked away without even talking to you. So what? Is that the person you want to sacrifice your joy and happiness for? Jimmy, how did you know what happened? I've been trying to call you for weeks, but you didn't think that I would try to know. I forged a doctor's report for you, thinking that you needed a week or two at most to get over what happened to you. You're not even trying to get out of bed, knowing that you have a team that you were leading, knowing that you have a team that was depending on you. The projects we were working on was withdrawn from us, thanks to you. All the benefits gone. For weeks now, your cousin has called me a million times, trying to find out how she could try to save your job. Everyone is worried. You're not even making an effort. None. Look, if you don't tell yourself the truth that he's gone, then you're going to continue looking this emaciated, 
sad and helpless when you shouldn't for any freaking human being in this world. Wake up for God's sake, Alison, wake up. I get your food? No. Alison, you've not been eating. Starving is really unhealthy for you. And where are you going to? She fainted. That was what happened. So what's happening now? She's inside with the doctors. Like, they even sent me to go and get something so that she can be able to eat. And you'll be able to see her when he's done, though. Is she talking? Yeah, she's talking. Okay, let me see her. Um, ask the nurse at the reception that you want to see her, let's say, at what, seven? Okay. All okay. right. Hey, Linda. How far? Not bad. Okay. I tried reaching you, but I did not have your number. And I asked your sister for your number. She has not sent it to now. I don't think she has my number. Excuse me? That's your elder sister. Still, I don't think she has my number. Okay, fine. How is your elder brother Kenneth doing? I actually don't. Wait. You don't know how your brother is doing? Yes. Alistair, what exactly is going on? Going on where? First off, you're responding 
and looking at me like we're just meeting for the first time. Whereas we've been friends for years, Kalista. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I am talking about. And from the look of things, your brother is obviously doing okay wherever he is. I don't need to ask you because I know you will not tell me. We are all adults. Everybody has their lives. I don't follow my family members wherever they go or whatever they do. I see. It's really good to see you. And it is fantastic to see you. When you see your stupid brother Kenneth, tell him that I said Alison will be over him and she will be very okay. Still, I have no idea. Hmm. It's okay. And you never will. Bunch of useless people. I just want to quickly make um, vegetable stir fry and rice for her. Oh, good. Yeah. She just started sleeping again. Oh, good. So, by the time she wakes up, the food will be ready. Okay. Mm. What's up? Why are you frowning? I'm speechless, but trust me, I'm very upset. What happened? I saw Kenneth's sister, Kalista. And he took everything inside of me not to end that conversation we had with serious abuse. Was she nasty to you? Is she mad? She was just acting like she was meeting me for the first time. And she has slept in my room. She has been to this house when Kenneth and Alison were dating the very beginning. Boy, you suddenly became a stranger. Imagine. If I ask her a question, she would just be staring at me. Contemplating if she should answer or not. I'm telling you. <laughs> It means they all know what happened. Apparently, she didn't even bother to ask me how Alison is doing at all. Nothing! She couldn't even pretend. I'm telling you. Isn't it obvious? They don't want to have anything to do with us anymore. I don't want to have anything to do with her. Imagine that. I had to tell her to tell her that her stupid brother Kenneth that my Alison will be okay and we get over him. Good. And I hope she delivers that message to him. The only reason why Alison is hurt is because she made him relevant in her life. Otherwise, who will be pained because of that self-centered and pretentious fool like Kenneth? Kai. A guy fooled everybody. Yes, he ah. did. He sure did. At the end of the day in this life, eh? It's not about what someone says to you, but what they do for you and to you. You're right. Babe, can I help you with anything? Yes, please. I'll um, help me with uh, anything. Okay, let me help you wash this. Uh... Hi, Jimmy. Hello, Linda. Um, is Alice in the room? Yes, she is. Okay, Um, I came to apologize for... My old boss the other day. So sorry you won't be able to see her. She was at the hospital yesterday. What happened? She has not been eating well, so she fainted. So how is she now? She's better. At least she was able to eat well yesterday and had breakfast. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'll just come back tomorrow. Oh, that will be better. All right. Later. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 What are you doing here? I came to apologize. For? The way I spoke to you earlier. I was out of line. For telling the truth? Well, truth or not, I shouldn't have. 
I should have been more gentle. It's okay. So how are you now? You sounded like Linda told you something. Yeah, she did. Well, I'm I'm fine, and you're forgiven, even though I don't think you did something wrong. Thank you. Well, I should be on my way out now. I have a meeting. I just thought to stop by and talk to you briefly. Just take it. Oh, okay. Um, has CJ gone? Yes, she left while you were sleeping. Oh. Okay. Are you okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel so sad for no reason. Hmm. You know, emotional healing takes time, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I just need to get busy. Hmm. You know, I, I feel like the the reality of everything is just hitting. Well, you loved him, so it will be hard. <laughs> Yet his sister promised couldn't even send Kalista's number. <sighs> they definitely know what's going on. And for that, I don't need her number because I saw her. I, I didn't want to tell you. Really? Yes. What did she say? <laughs> nothing. Do you know that girl acted like she doesn't even know me? She said nothing. Oh my God, what's going on? Why are they acting like this? <sighs> really, please don't start worrying yourself about that right now. Don't. I just need to know one thing. Why? Why all of this? Where did I go wrong? Maybe if you never get to know. I deserve to know. I get it. But seeking the reason for his disappearance has negatively affected you. And it's obviously mentally and psychologically draining you. Sure. But, but then, knowing what happened, that's how closure comes. What if today is your closure? Will that change what has happened or what he has put you through? What if you also decide to move on by yourself without looking for any sort of explanation? You know, I, I would really like to do that. Yeah. I think you probably maybe need to go back to something you love, like your work. Mm -hmm. I guess so. I should. Yeah. Um, I'll just go get the food. All right, okay. Alison. Oh, hi. Hi. What's happening? Oh, nothing. I, 
I just um, came out. Oh. oh. Do you want to come up into the office? Oh, no, no, no. I, I was just driving by. To... You missed the office, eh? I, I guess I'm starting to. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Well, maybe. Yeah. Because um, something happened where I'm coming from and I would like us to talk about it. Oh. What is it? Um, we're going to talk about it now because I have to go see the boss. But maybe later we can talk about it. Oh, sure. It's good to see you. Same. Right. So later, eh? All right. Contact of the person you need to reach out to at Silver Island Manufacturing. Why? Well, they came to the office and asked about you. I got told them that you no longer work with us. But they insisted on working with you or a team you lead. Apparently, they are still impressed by the work you did with them. We did with them. But you led the team. How did you get this contact? Well, I told them that I could reach out to you. Well, I can't do it. Alison, do you know how good you are? Do you know what it means for these people to insist on working with only you? I told Oga to, to call you back, but he refused. I hurt him. Yes, you did, but you know he's a stubborn man. But if you don't take this, they are going to take the job to someone else. So don't make it look as if you're taking job from us. I mean, I, I don't even have the facilities to do this. No office, nothing. You don't need an office to work. I don't even have a registered company. Okay. How about you tell them you're now into consulting or freelancing? Huh? Have them pay directly into your personal account. If you do this and you like it, I promise to help you set up your own company. I do not have plans to start my own company. Alison, Oga sent me to them and they insisted on working with only you. Look, it was their place I was coming from when I saw you earlier today. I was already leaving their office before I had the thought of you starting your own company. So I went back to them and told them I could get you. They gave me their card and told me that they had tried to send you mails a couple of times, but you've not responded to anyone. I, I haven't read my mails. Maybe you should start reading them. And I'm sorry about your ex and how he... Oh, please. I, I'd rather not talk about him. But thanks. I, I appreciate it. Can you please contact them? Maybe at the end of this, you might get excited. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a thought. Good. I have to go now, OK? See you later.
Hello? Yes, please, am I on to Mr. Gerald of Silver Island Manufacturing? Yes, my name is Alison. Um, my ex-colleague gave me your number. <laughs> yes, yes, the pleasure is absolutely mine. Likewise. smiling <laughs> nothing okay so you're not going to tell me what you went to see i will so <laughs> okay cool. so have you finished the proposal i'm just on the last page oh, nice yep are you going back to the office no what jimmy You've not been going to the office for like a month now. You've been here mostly. Working. The work that's not paying you. Am I complaining? Well. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, are you hungry? No, thank you. Sure? Yeah. All right then, let me just clear this mess and take this place out. For. It's what I went to see. What is it that you went to see? Your new office. What? Alison, I've already told you it's time we moved out of this sitting room. I mean, you made 17 new clients in just 11 months. Jimmy, are you really sure that we're ready to move into a whole office space? What's the fear? Look, I know that you... You push me hard. Okay, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that, but... But what, Alison? You want to keep having your meetings in different restaurants? Okay, fine. Fine, you win. <laughs> so... What did you get? A four bedroom flat. What? Look, we can afford it. I mean, that's a lot. Like I said, we can afford it. I know. Look, Alice, it's time you stop doubting yourself. Okay? You made like millions in just 11 months. Huh? It's time you start running this office the way it should be run. Jamie, why are you doing this? Why? Like you're always helping me, supporting me, pushing me, just making me a better person. <laughs> Even at work, when I don't pay attention to you, you always come back the next day singing my praises. What's in it for you? Let's just say I'm a big fan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, um, how did you get the keys to this place? Oh, I paid for it. What? Yeah, but there were like three other persons that were buying for this same place. It wasn't like a very nice location. So, since I got there first, I decided to pay for it. Jimmy, I 
Thank you. But you know what? The company would definitely refund you. No problem. But one more thing. Okay. We need some new recruits. Oh my god, this is this is really happening. Yes. Madam CEO. <laughs> that that is strange. I want you to see you, aren't you? Um, so how many how many people are we looking to recruit? Mm. Let's say three or four first Okay. But how about I take you out for lunch and we talk about it tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'll be on my way now. Already? Yeah. I wanted to drop the key then go run a few errands. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations, CEO. <laughs> you did oh, so well. Thank you so much. Jimmy. See you tomorrow. All right. Then. something I want to talk to you about. What is it? It's about Jimmy. What about him? You know he's been doing everything to make sure you're okay. I... I see it. I think he's in love with you. And you're telling me this? Because you think I'm still waiting for Ken? You tell me. Are you? No. Just that he really hurt me. So allowing myself to feel something for anyone, even someone like Jimmy, it's not been easy. Um, but I see him. <laughs> I see all of his efforts, everything he's been doing for nearly a year now. Even when we used to work together, Jimmy would always come through for me. Mm. He would always celebrate my wins with me. He would always try and start conversations. And I would always shut down those conversations. <laughs> and the funniest part is that the next day, he would literally still, you know. Let, let me guess. He comes back. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um. I feel like I didn't really let myself get to know him until all of this started. But since I, I did, he's really helped me heal by being a true friend, you know, helping me start my own company, helping me make millions. And now to get in our own office space. <laughs> what? Yeah, we have an office now. He even paid with his money, but the company will refund him anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's currently trying to recruit staff as well. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> A full-blown company. Yes. You know, I think this whole love thing has to do with someone that brings out the best in you and not just the person's presence, all the excitement and the butterflies that comes with it. I quite agree. <laughs> hmm. um, so, tell me, has he asked you out yet? No. Hmm. I don't think he's going to be doing all of this if he doesn't want to be with you. Mm, well, I'll wait till he speaks up. And if he doesn't, then he stays that way. I am, I'm no longer waiting for a relationship to fulfill me completely. I can be happy on my own. 
you know, I, I feel like one of the things that that hurt the most about Kenneth is the fact that I, I built my life around him. I built everything around him. He represented fulfillment, happiness, and contentment to me. And when I didn't see him, I felt like I lost all of that. And I just wanted to know why, by all means. But now, I have realized that I am my own happiness. And that my fulfillment and my contentment, they lie within me. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. I'm so happy. You're moving on so strong. I am. <laughs> you can say that again. Um, well, I guess what they say is true. <laughs> what doesn't kill you <laughs> makes you stronger. stronger. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Look at you. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big news. Shall I say goodbye? Yes. <laughs> totally in order. What? Oh. Guy, what's up? I saw like 17 missed calls. Ah, ah. So why you call me like that? What's in day? Guy, I was busy now. I was busy. Yeah. So what's up? What's up? What guy, I just told you now that I needed someone and all of a sudden you already have a candidate for me. Okay, okay. You know what? I need us to get something straight, right? No matter how desperate I am in need of a staff, I, I will not just hire anyone just because I want to hire someone, okay? I need to be sure that the person is what I need and is as good as you're trying to sell me he is. Okay. All right, fine. Just send it to me, okay? Yeah, bye. Thanks. Later now. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, beautiful. How are you? I'm all right. See you. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm supposed to come pick you, but um, I was thinking, before I finish with this meeting that I am going for and drive all the way to you, it might be very late when I'm done. So I was thinking if it would be possible for you to meet me up. Sure, not a problem at all. Okay. All right, so another thing. I told the friend that I was recruiting for you. He said he has a candidate that is very good and will be an, ass an asset to us. Really? <laughs> that is really good. News. Yep, but I wasn't expecting him to sell his candidate any shot though. So I told him I'll have to check for myself and see if the guy would fit what we were looking for. Ask so we can see the person's CV. Yes, I already told him to send the CV to me. Yeah, another thing, um, um, since the office is not ready, can we meet the person or anyone we want to recruit at the um, restaurant we usually sit out? Oh, that's about the only choice that we currently have. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Okay, I'll just tell the guy to send the CV then. Um, I will go through it. If it's good, I'll ask him to come meet us there. All right? Absolutely. All right, no. I'll see you later then. See you soon. All right, bye. Okay, this is really happening. I hope it wasn't difficult locating this place. Not at all. And the rain didn't disturb you? Nah, <laughs> not so much. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Um, why are you staring at me like that? What is wrong with you? Um, can I say something I've been meaning to say for a long time? 
Uh, what is it? Um, it's actually the reason I wanted us to meet here. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the menu. Right. Okay. So let's just start with um. So I'll take this first. Okay. Make this one. Um, anything. Okay. Then maybe much later you serve us um your special menu. All right, thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, me. <laughs> uh, so, for the longest time, I have been amazed by your work. And I've actually enjoyed working with you, you know. The past 11 months has given me the opportunity to, to get to know you personally. That's beyond this, um, smart, beautiful lady that always gets job done. <laughs> yeah, I know I always keep a, a professional outlook. It's because I wanted to be sure that you've had enough time to, to get over your ex. And for me as well, to be sure that I'm okay. Um, okay, Jimmy, you have to, to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're literally talking to yourself. Do you realize that? <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alison, be my girlfriend. I really, really like you. But you don't have to give me an answer now. I know you need to think about it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I know. Because I really want to be something more than just um, a friend who is helping you set up your own company or an ex-colleague. <laughs> um, I want to know if you like me. If you do, you can tell me. Then maybe I can now um, wait for your answer however long it will take. <laughs> yeah. um, I like you. What I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Um, you you actually enjoy the menu. It's really nice. Yeah. I, hope I don't so. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> it's okay. I mean. <sighs> okay. I'm sure you like the menu. Yeah. Oh. Like the menu. Okay. Thank you. That looks nice. Yeah, so talking about um, opening the office and recruitment. Yeah, have you um, seen the CV of the guy that your friend told you Yes, about? very amazing CV. You know, I was curious. I, I couldn't help but call the guy and talk to him. I even told him to come. Really? Yes, I mean, you should come see here? your... Yes, I mean, you should see your first staff. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you sound like you have your mind made up already. Ah, uh, well, honestly, yes. I mean, the guy has such an amazing CV. The only thing that would disqualify him is if he has an obviously nasty um, attitude, you know. Mm -hmm. The CV is quite impressive, like, wow. You know, he has a background in marketing, branding and business development as well. Mm. Yeah. You know, he kind of reminds me of my ex. How? Um. He has a similar background. I was always wondering why he never utilized the CV. But that's none of my business anymore. Wow, okay. So I can't be bothered. Oh, speaking of, I think that's him already. But you guys know each other.
Just still trying to be sure it wasn't a ghost I saw today. Kenneth? Yes. He's the one looking for a job? Yes. Of all companies, I mean, why yours? You know, but of course, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't know his mind. Jimmy never met him in person, and I never mentioned him to Jimmy. Maybe if I did, Jimmy would have said, oh, one of the potential employees also called Kenneth. I don't know. I don't know what to think, but there are actually many Kenneths in the world. So... Hey, what's up? What was the message about? My sister. It's a lie. <laughs> See, for the past few hours since I got back from the restaurant, I have been replaying that moment that I turned and saw him in my head. And each time I think about it, I am dazed. <gasps> Could that be him? Um, hi, CJ, Linda. I know how disappointed everybody is. I'm sorry. What do you want? What are you doing here? Alison, I... I'm here to explain everything to you. Please, can we sit? Um, the day I asked Linda to help us make a meal, I was willing to come. And you did not? Yes, I didn't. Because I realized that it wasn't going to be possible for me to come for the dinner and still make it to the airport. What are you talking about? Alison, I... I left the country that night. What? Yes. I was tired. I had to leave. Nothing was working out for me here. I just wanted to go there and, you know, work for a few years and... Come back. And you didn't think I deserved to know? Wait, so all the time that you've been coming here to see me, you were actually planning to leave? Yes. Jesus. Listen, I know I hid it very well, okay? I was frustrated. Nothing was working out for me. Everyone around me was making it big. You were being promoted at work and celebrated all the time. Can you even listen to yourself? I literally begged you to get a job and build from scratch. Build gradually. You kept comparing yourself to your friends. And you had the nerve to walk out on us and travel. I'm sorry, I... I knew you've done so much for me. You've supported me so much and I wish I listened to you. Really? Yes. Just take a look at me. Deported after six months just because some of my travel papers were fake. And I sold everything I had just to process these papers. And these guys did rubbish for me. How could you even have the heart to do that to me? Kenneth, I would never have done that to you. You know that. It was a difficult decision. Yet you took it. But I guess I listen. Was to steal. Alison, I, I am sorry. Now my heart I am so breathing. sorry. I really think that things didn't work out for me over there because of the way I left. The way I, I walked out of your life. I think God actually wanted me to just have the rare privilege of 
asking for your forgiveness and start building from the scratch. Alison. Never meant to hurt you, baby. Please, Alison. I'm begging now. Alison, the times I ever felt that I could leave with Listen, I, I'm ready to make up for my stupidity. I'm sorry. I've learned my lessons. Me, okay? You've always been right. I'm sorry. I should have focused me, on my journey. Baby. I should have I'm been more sorry, appreciative of everything me, you've done baby. for me and the things you were still willing to do for me. Kenneth, I need you to leave. Alison. Now. Alison, please. You're the only one that understands me better. I need you now. Please. You need me? You broke up with me, remember? Via a text message. After three years of a relationship. I'm sorry. Because you failed. If you had succeeded, would you be sorry? Would you be here? Would you? Kenneth, I cried for so many weeks, wondering what I did to you. Wondering why you broke up with me, only to realize that this was the reason. Get lost. Alice, Out! I can come back to you so we can talk I about never this. want to set eyes on you again. Please, Leave. Out! Alice, I think you so I'm much. Sorry. Alice, I know I Leave. wrong you. Can we please stay? Okay. Can I come back tomorrow? Oh, girl, I miss you. Maybe I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Never meant to hurt you, baby. Please, I'm begging now. For all the times I ever felt that I could leave without you, baby. I'm sorry. Forgive me, 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 baby. I'm on my knees and begging. Baby, please come back home. Come back home. Baby, please come back home. much because I wanted to know what I did. I wanted to understand why he broke up with me. I wanted to hear it from him and get my closure. And this, this is his reason. Um, closure cannot come from the person who hurts you. Because there's no explanation whatsoever that is good enough reason to hurt someone. Why was I hurting myself? Why was I killing myself? Why was I killing myself with starvation? What's the use of all the tears if this was his silly reason? Gosh. I'm so upset with myself right now. It's okay. Jimmy stayed for a long time, so we just gave you guys some space. Um, but I was very angry for God knows how long. But he just, you know, held me and practically talked me into silence. 
I even need to call him. Let me know if you go home safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what time did he leave? Um, say like 1 a.m. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, like I was really upset. I screamed, I talked, I vented, I ranted. Gosh, I did everything. And he just, you know, he just stayed. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel now? Well, still angry at myself. And why was hearing or seeing him so important to me after he broke up with me? Considering how he broke up with me. Look at all the things that I put myself through. You really didn't know this kind of guy. I was actually rooting for the both of you. Like, the more he tried. The way he hid his intentions and emotions. He did it very well. Yeah. You see, my conclusion in this life, when it comes to another person apart from myself, mm. it's about what they do and not what they say. You know, their actions at every stage and time is who they really are. That's right. And when it comes to closure in a relationship, the moment your partner walks away, that's it. Whether there's an explanation or not. And that is closure. Period. Whatever the reason is, if it was strong enough for the person to just walk away like that, then that's the end. As painful as it is, moving forward is the only solution available. To me, the explanation is really a waste of time. And an emotional torture. Huh. I just hope that is not Kenneth. Because God will come down and punish him today. <laughs> Here and now. <laughs> I don't this. In fact, I will chase him back to that country that he's coming from. Oh. Jimmy. Hey. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. I thought it was Kenneth. I was ready to chase him back to whatever country he jacked back to. What? Well, you're still angry? Even after yesterday? I'm sorry. I I know I promised not to be so upset anymore. Mm. Wow. Wait. Are you guys finally official now? Yes. Ooh, finally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I I can't believe I'm so happy again. <laughs> yeah, me too. I guess no pain do last forever. Eh? Yeah, I agree. Uh, um, can I ask you something? Um, can you please join me? Let's run this company together. I mean, you're so, you're so great at management. I'm sure we'll make a good pair. <laughs> Well, my baby, I've been working with you for a while now. I resigned over a month ago. For real? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even tell me that. Well, you needed help with a lot of things, and um, you didn't see the company as big as I saw it, so I, <laughs> I decided to help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is that? Yeah. Okay. You and I are meant to be together. Yeah, baby. Oh, you. my baby. Anytime. Okay. Baby. <laughs> and every time that I see your face, I can't control it. Baby, it feels oh, like magic. Magic. <laughs> but I guess I was so stupid. Left without a notice <laughs> Now my heart is bleeding No one here to save me I need you no more than ever <laughs> Baby, can you hear me? I'm on my knees, I'm begging Baby, please come back home Come back home Baby, please come back home
Baby girl, I'm sorry I know I wrong you Can we place that over? Oh girl, I miss you Baby, I thought the grass was greener on the other side Never meant to hurt you, baby, please I'm begging now For all the times I ever felt that I could leave without you, baby I'm sorry, forgive me, baby I'm sorry, forgive me, baby I'm sorry, 